Um, do we have any club announcements? Does anybody have any club announcements? Well, I do. <laughs> that doesn't surprise you, I'm sure. Um, I'm just, uh, the uh, family picnic is August 18th. You should have gotten an email from me um, to RSVP for that. Um, I'm going to need to know those counts. Uh, I actually, I'm calling them tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, we're just going to, I'm going to use highs, if you guys are okay with that. And I'm just going to pick out, I think we have a couple different choices to pick from on that. So um, it's going to be at the Rotary Pavilion at the Sport Complex. So if you didn't get an email and you want to email me if how many people's going to be there, that would be awesome. If not, I will resend that email out tomorrow um, for RSVPs. So we Don, can... what's the date again, please? August 18th. Thank you. Perfect. So, and are we bringing our own chairs so we can spread out? Yes, we can. Oh, not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, with that, I think we had, do we have other discussion? Is there something you want to talk about, RJ? Uh, just that we are not doing the highway cleanup yet because the state has not opened that up. So we're looking for options of what we can do instead of the highway cleanup. Jenna had made some suggestions. Um, one of which is is a trail and terry you're you know some people involved in the trail right and i think yeah. i think chris had sent some suggestions chris jansen had sent some suggestions to terry as well is what he told me in an email yesterday so you know we just need to to you know stick a pin in something and plan for it um, okay I'll, I'll nail it down within the next uh day or so i'm sorry I've been um, traveling for the last five days. I can't imagine why. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever you come up with, uh, I, I think it'd be great. I know Larry suggested if we trails, you have any more benches you want installed? That was a long process when we installed that first bench. So, and if there's still a lumber shortage, that was, that was part of the problem too. There was a lumber shortage, so we didn't get a lot of a lot of good lumber for it. I I'm, I may have a source of lumber, so awesome. I'll have to I'll have to get back to you. You know, we have some people that know what they're doing with a screw gun. So, and and Larry's always good with a strong back. Yeah, well, you know, a backhoe is going to be handy as well. So we'll, we'll I get like something that better. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get something worked out. Okay, thanks. All right. Sounds good. Uh, anybody else have any other discussion? You're the winner. All right, chicken dinner. Hopefully cool. I have everybody down that's logged on. So um, it looks like there's 17 people. No, 16 people because Terry was on there twice. But I think I got attended, so we're good. Okay, with that, Larry Doyle, you're up to bat. Yes, I am. Well, you know, it's a new year for Rotary. And, you know, in this current environment, it's all about giveaway programs. You know, every organization is just giving money away. So tonight, instead of paying a fine, everybody that's in attendance gets a dollar. Woohoo! Gets a dollar? We all yep. win a dollar? Yep. And and who's giving this to us? Yourself. The government. Come on. <laughs> yes. It's not a brag book, but I would alert the club that I have a new address. Oh. So I'm going to be commuting to Rotary from. Okay. Well, really, I don't know if uh, our program needs too much introduction. Uh, Dave Wilson has been a member of our Rotary Club since 1985, and uh, in those years, he has been probably one of our most active Rotarians, both locally uh, 
in the district and internationally. And today he's going to talk a little bit about his years in Rotary and what it's meant to him. So with that, Dave, I'll let you take over. Thanks, Bob. Rotarians, I want to preface my meeting with this kind of a statement. My program is to share events and activities and adventures with the sole purpose of encouraging, inspiring, challenging, and enlightening any Rotarian to have a greater Rotary experience. And to respond to my first Rotary motto, work Rotary. And in order to work Rotary, you need to know all that Rotary has to offer. And you can start with the Rotary magazine. Dave Wilson was not invited to be a Rotarian. In the fall of 1985, Dave responded to an article in a newspaper. And there was in the bottom thing, call this number if you're interested. Having newly relocated in the area, I called that number and it was Terry Householder's number. He was the president of Rotary. And he told me, he said, well, you just don't join Rotary, you have to be invited. That's where it all started when he assigned Al Moore to be my sponsor. I was inducted in Rotary in October that year. The club had about 70 members. We met at a downtown restaurant. Terry, you can help me with the name of that. And I remember the good old boys of Bob Crop, Paul Railing, Garrett Moore, and the notorious Cleon Point. This included the next group of Rotarians, Bill Sabosley, Dwayne Axel, John Hutchinson, Craig Fisher, and Barry Graydon. I felt right at home at the first meetings. At that time, the secretary, yours truly, was required to send out postcards to every member that missed the meeting. First week, postcard. Second week meeting, missed a postcard. Third meeting missed a postcard. And the fourth meeting, bylaws said you were, uh, in, we spent a day in Moscow and the, the army was, was totally useless and people were selling everything they had, furniture, clothing, to get a U.S. dollar. A pack of cigarettes would get you anything you wanted. And we did bring each of us a carton of cigarettes to take along for cash. And in our conversation, he challenged me with these words. What do you want to do with the rest of your rotary life? Her favorite locations, both of us, we agree that Delft, Holland, we visited there uh, after the Copenhagen Convention with a group, past district governor friend. We stayed there three, nine, three days. Delft, Holland is number one on our list and the tiny nation of Liechtenstein. We visited there after our Brisbane convention. We went to uh, Switzerland to see her hometown, her great-grandparents' hometown, and then we visited past district governor friend in Liechtenstein. Right away, you start thinking about how you're going to prepare your governor's year, and I didn't even know what governor's activities were, except I had a lot of help from past district governors. What came to my mind was a district theme Beef cube relates to my engineering background. Visibility, vision, and vitality. 
and I wasn't supposed to have a district theme that was in violation of the international theme, but I, I played it anyway through my speeches. <clears throat> and Terry, I took all 24 of my flags, just like you have on your, the top of your counters, and I have 24 international flags on, in my counter in my new kitchen. So, I finally said no to Rotary a few years ago, and I'm happily engaged in Kendallville Rotary Club with our newest members, Jenna, Kirsten, Susan, and Adam. And oh, by the way, I was inspired by Bob Kropp, and I now enjoy 35 years of perfect attendance since the day I became a Rotarian. <laughs> and, and ladies and gentlemen, we come to that part of the uh, program where we get to adjourn. And with that, please join with me in the four-way test of the things we think, say, and do. Is it the is truth? It the truth? Is, is it, it fair to all concerns? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Friendship? Will it be beneficial to all concerns? Who's got a bell? Oh. I don't have the bell. Terry's got the bell. So please.